hi, my name's Tracy. I have uh, three teenage children and my middle son, uh, Lockie, he has autism and he's now 17. Um, life now is, is pretty good, you know, he's, he's doing well, but back when he was a young man, when he was, uh, he got diagnosed at the age of two and um, throughout his younger years, we had a lot of difficulties in that he would have meltdowns uh, he had a lot of anxiety to do with the weather, so quite often we couldn't leave the house and um, it could be isolating. Uh, we, it was when friends would be meeting up at a park, if it wasn't fenced, we couldn't go because he was a flight risk. Um, sometimes the noise of the situation would just get so loud that I didn't know what to do with myself. Um, we would we were offered respite and respite would come to the house um, and I was very grateful for that but I didn't know what to do with myself I had two hours in which to to do something but my mind was so I was just so overwhelmed that I couldn't see what to do with that two hours or quite often I'd just end up doing chores and that didn't do anything for my mental health Anyway, as the years that have gone by, I've realised that self-care is key. Not just for self-preservation, but for being able to look after the person you're caring for. Um, you know, in a, in a positive way. Um, and if I had have had the option back then to have somebody come to the house, like to physically come to the house, so I didn't have the obstacle of getting in my car and driving to get a massage. I mean, that would have given me a, just a break, a, you know, a, just a little bit of reprieve from that noise, a bit of quiet time to just refill my cup so that I could feed my son from the saucer. That's fantastic. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs>